Before we build our next page of our notebook, let's talk about the different vocabulary words that are gonna be in this lesson. So the first one we should look at is the place value system because we're going to be studying that today. So if we look in our glossary, we can see that the place value system shows the value of each digit in a number, which is based on the digit's location. Now, the place value system is made up of periods. A period is a group of three digits in a large number. Periods are separated with commas. So when you see 365,126, you know that you're seeing two periods, the thousands period and the ones period. We're also gonna talk about what it means to be one-tenth of. One-tenth of just means 10 times smaller. And 10 times smaller just means divided by 10. So we're gonna look at that. We're gonna also look at 10 times bigger, which is times 10. So the first thing we need to do is cut out our page for our notebook. Now don't throw the rest of this away because we're gonna use it. But first, let's go ahead and glue this down on the next page. Okay, I'm gonna turn my notebook sideways so that I can see it a little bit better. So here we have our place value charts. We have hundreds, tenths, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, and billions. So this is the place value system that we just talked about. There are periods on this place value system too. Every three digits makes a period. So I'm gonna put a comma here just to remember that's where my period is separated. My, that, my next period is one, two, three. So I'll put a comma there. And my next period is the millions, one, two, three. And I'll put a comma there. So now this is the place value system that we can use to practice reading numbers. But we're gonna talk about something special today and that is how our place value system is designed. So it says our place value system is designed in a very helpful way. As you move to the blank, every place is blank times bigger than the place before it. So think about it. As we move to the left, every place gets bigger. A 10 is bigger than one, a 100 is bigger than 10, a 1,000 is bigger than a 100. So as you move to the left, every place is 10 times bigger. 10 times one is 10. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. Hmm, keeps going like that forever. So if every place to the left gets 10 times bigger, what do you think happens to every place to the right? Well, as you move to the right, every place is 10 times smaller than the place before it. And that's why we were talking a minute ago about 10 times smaller. And 10 times smaller is just another way of saying divided by 10 or one tenth of. 10 times bigger is just another way of saying multiplying by 10. So now the rest of the page that we almost threw away actually has a blank number strip on it. So go ahead and cut that out. Now I'm gonna use a piece of packing tape to make it reusable. Okay, so now I am going to use this as a number strip. And I'm gonna show you how when you move a number to the left, that number is gonna get bigger. If you move a number to the right, that number is gonna get smaller. 
For now, we are looking at the decimal points. Normally, when you've seen a place value chart, it's probably started with the ones place. But as many places as there are to the left, there are as just as many places to the right, only they get smaller and they're decimal points. So this is the tenths place, this is the hundredths place, but we'll just ignore it for now. We'll just focus on the ones place. So I'm gonna take a dry erase marker and I'm going to write the number one on my number strip. So again, we're just gonna ignore this part for now. Well, what happens if I move it to the left? Well, it opens up a place here where we need a placeholder zero, so the number would be 10. If we moved it again, its value would be 100. Imagine the placeholder zeros in those places. So the same thing happens if we move to the right. So here we have a number that is 100. So I'm gonna erase this and write it where it looks like 100. If I have the number 100 and I move it to the right, watch what happens. It's now only worth 10. If I move it again, it's now only worth one. So that is what's special about the design of our place value system. When we take numbers and we move them through the place value system to the left, they always get 10 times bigger. And if we take that same number and we move it through our place value system to the right, that is going to get 10 times smaller. It's going to be one tenth of the original number. So you can use this to multiply and divide pretty easily. So let's say we have the number 3,750. So I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna ignore the tenths and the hundredths for now. And we have the number 3,750. Well, if I say, what's 3,750 times 10? I know all I have to do is move that number one place to the left. Add that placeholder zero, and I'll see that our answer is 37,500. But it works the other way too, with division. So let's say I have the number 3,750, and I say, what is 3,750 divided by 10? Well, if I wanna divide by 10, I can just slide it one place to the right. So 3,750 divided by 10 is 375. So you will use this place value chart over and over as a reference as we keep on learning and adding to what we know. So if you need help with reading a number or understanding the value of a digit, just open up your place value chart here and then have a look. So the last thing we can do is add this to our table of contents. So you can number this page and you can go back to your place value glossary. And the things that we learned about today, you can write that page number next to the word that we learned about. All right, so tomorrow we'll add on a little bit more.